And welcome back to Daily Wrap. Well, let's check in with the great Steve Malsberg and see what he has planned for tonight. Steve A. All right, Joe, as you well know, Donald Trump joins me at the top of the show, an exclusive three part interview, and he talks about a lot more than the Roger Ailes bite that you heard. He talks about Jeb Bush. Could he support Jeb Bush if he were the nominee? And what does he think about Megyn Kelly's vacation? That and a lot more. It's all next, right after the Daily Wrap. Don't miss it. Big show for Steve. Definitely going to watch tonight. Donald Trump extended interview. Stick around. Anyway, a Kentucky clerk, her name is Kim Davis, has defied a federal judge's order to issue marriage licenses to gay couples claiming her Christian faith should exempt her. Here is some video of a gay couple trying to get married a couple of weeks ago. I have the letter from the governor's office stating that all the county clerks are to issue marriage licenses. And I also have the Supreme Court ruling, and I want to be kind of very specific with the language that's in this ruling. And if you just give me a minute. Do you right? know what words are? It does. It says we the know court. We words are, and please. we're not issuing any licenses. We've, we've, we've come down. We've been here, we've lived here for over 10 years. We've come down here for, so if for to register to our car. You can go to any county, other county, and get your marriage license. We're just not doing it this time. Not we not we own property here. here. We pay taxes here. We live sorry, here. We have our right. It's not her choice. We Kentucky law requires the county clerk to issue marriage licenses. If the clerk is absent or the office is vacant, then the local judge executive can issue the licenses. Davis has said that if she issues the marriage licenses, that means she agrees with it, which is why she's unwilling to do it. All right, Heather, why don't they just fire her? Well, if they fire her, they are going to be the, res the recipients of a lawsuit for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, she will right away sue them because they have fired her for her religious beliefs. Look, we're at that point. It's, well, it's an elected position as well, on top of that, so you can't just fire somebody. But on the, the issue that we're coming up against is that you have got a situation where First Amendment freedom of religion rights are bumping up against this ruling. No, and we're go yes, it is, no, Rick. It's not. It this is. woman's so full of it. Listen, I. Listen, if you read the article, more than half of the clerks in that county have asked for a session, okay. have asked for a session about how the, they can accommodate their religious beliefs. These are people who want to have a conversation about how to do their this jobs. This woman is an elected official. I don't give a you-know-what about what she agrees with or she thinks. She was elected by the people in her area to do her job as it's defined. The judge in the district where she is has said that they are going to honor the law. So for her to say that for me to issue these marriage licenses goes, you know, means that I agree with it is her saying, I don't really give a damn what the people who elected me think. This is baloney. This is wrong. I don't care what you think about gay marriage, like it, hate it, doesn't matter. She accepted a job where she was elected by the people to do it. She has to do it. But Rick, the people who elected her don't necessarily believe in gay Then have an that's, election that's over not. that. And you can't because have an amendment she to was that. Elected. You, you can't. But if, if we were to go by popular vote about anything, we would have made no progress in America. This is the same argument we had 50 years ago when we were discriminating against people, be, discrimin discriminating against African Americans, discriminating against women, be, discriminating against gays in other ways. So we're just not going to honor religion. anyone's First Amendment rights. No, First it's, Amendment well, that's, rights. Her no that's her own belief. She's it, what she does in her own time is so okay with me. Uh, she was elected Rick, to follow the law. Where's the tape of you saying about all these bakers and photographers I who agree are in with these that. different? They're not the elected Bible officials. Say that you can't acknowledge. They, in and fact, they this are is just wait, against wait, the Bible. Wait, one second. Hang on. They are not elected officials. Those bakers and all those people. She's elected to do what the law says the clerk in that county is supposed to do. I don't care what her thoughts are. She is more than welcome to resign her job if it conflicts with her personal beliefs and they can pick another clerk in that office. So I the, don't buy it. Okay, Heather? more than half of the clerks have asked then for a session. Then they can all resign. Okay, so you think that all of those people should have to resign yes. because yes. they have a first... because they were elected to do They're a job. They're breaking the law. And then they, their First Amendment that right allows not, them to resign. That really? is not so going to... Let me ask you a very let, simple let me question. Should let, judges let resign? That is, not going to fit, that is not going to forward this conversation oh, if really? we just say, everybody resign. I can make this really there easy for you. You're a lawyer. A way. I can make this really easy for you. When a judge is, is a judge supposed to follow the law? 
Absolutely. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So should judges who, who, who feel that if they follow the law, they're agreeing with something they personally disagree with, should they to, not follow the law? When it comes to marrying, should a judge be forced to marry same-sex couples? What's the law couples? say? The, the, the point... You're, no, you're, right. you're not answering my question, so we're you, not getting to not, the point. You're fine. The law says Forget that. Forget gay you, marriage. Pick something else. If Pick it was anything. guns, if it was a gun, if it was right. her right to use a gun because yeah. religion tells her that, would that be legal? Whether or not it is legal does not mean it's going to push forward the people getting together and actually so having a conversation about this. We've had the conversation. We've had the conversation. We've had the conversation. The conversation that we're done? And it, we, no, we've we, had the yeah. conversation. The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court true now, rules. Now, if you want to challenge it, that. if she wants to go to court and challenge it, God bless her. Well, she go has. to court. She has. But do your job as a as the people elected you to do in the meantime, or resign if you can't. we got to go. That was fun. So, let us know what you think about this Kentucky clerk breaking state law over religious beliefs. Go to newsmaxtv.com slash comments and share your thoughts. Stay tuned. More Daily Wrap.